When did you lose your virginity? I was 17. Can you ask her, when did you lose your virginity? Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Man. When did you lose your virginity? I feel like we've had this conversation before. I was 15, I was young. I was really uh. young, yeah. Who was it? Huh. Oh, oh, why are we saying names? <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> My name's RJ. I'm Jolene. My name is Xavier. I'm Rhonda. I am Chelsea's mom, but I'm her also her grandma. This is the oh. person that raised me growing up. So you have the same mother, but your sister raised you. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. I adopted her. Yeah, on my third birthday. Biologically, she's my niece. My sister is a 35-year addict. I was born with drugs in my system from my birth mom. Um, and they found out when I was in the hospital. And obviously the court systems didn't think that was appropriate living situation. So my family stepped in. Do you wanna take a shot before we start? Oh, we should. Sure. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Do you think you did a good job raising me? Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. I'm proud of it. Explain what, that, what that's like being raised by your sister. It was weird. It was weird growing up. Our dad was always just working. Mom's out of the picture, so it's just like I was raising him. Like, you know, she was picking me up from elementary school. Everybody's like, oh, is that your mom? She looks so young. I was like, no, that's, that's my sister. What is the most trouble I've been in? You were talking to some guy on mm -hmm. some, I don't even know how you I think it was MySpace or something. I don't yeah. know, but he was calling you from California. I'm sure he was some you know, <laughs> right. predator. Was he? I don't know. Oh, I don't, I'm sure he was. I don't know. I was probably like 13 or 12. And it was like, what are you doing? Talking to my friend. <laughs> yeah. Did I ever feel like a burden? Never. Never once? Never one time. You were an asshole. <laughs> when I had to come look for you with a car full of dudes because my little girl didn't come home. When was that? That was when I decided that I wanted to be more involved with boys than anything else, and I, that's what I went and did. Did I ever feel like a burden? Truthfully, yes. You were annoying, but what- I know I was annoying, so there's brother, no way. You're a little brother, but at the same time, I had to make sure you, had, you ate and you did your fucking homework. Yeah. Do you wish you had been raised by your biological parents? No, Where when I was you? younger. Um, around like fourth, fifth grade, you know, I kind of wanted to be around her and kind of get to know her, but I still always called you when I was visiting with her and stuff and kind of wanted to be home with you, even though I know she loved me, but just didn't feel the same. Do you wish you had been raised by your biological parents? Like 20%, yeah. <clears throat> like, it would have been nice to have mom around and, but. I think but... I'd be more stressed with my mom around. <laughs> uh, I don't want to think about More that. Maybe I don't wish she was she was there. I think I'm I think I'm good. Do you think there is tension between me and your biological mother? What yeah, there was for yeah. sure. But as of right now, I feel like I'm grown enough to say what I have to say and, and you yeah. have. Yeah. What was the tension? Because I took her nine months old. She died twice and was on life support for seven days in the hospital for 13. When she came out of the hospital, she went missing for like 30 days. Thankfully and unfortunately, the drug community is very connected. So as soon as I realized where she was, I went and got her and she's been with me since then. Okay, I think it's my turn. Um, when did you lose your virginity? Um, when I was 14 with an 18 year old. <laughs> so that wasn't good. There you go. Yeah. How old were you when you lost your virginity? 14. Oh, well, so <laughs> cheers to that. Yeah. <laughs> when did you lose your virginity? I think you know. I thought I told you. I was 17. That was a fucking man, dude. I, I, I pulled up the fucking football practice. I was like, guys, guess what? Wait, ask your sister. When did you lose your virginity? Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Man. When did you lose your virginity? I feel like we've had this conversation before. I was 15. I was young. I was really yeah. young. Yeah. Who was it? Huh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> um, have you ever caught me? Oh my God! I should have run this in my head first. <laughs> Jesus! Have you ever caught me having sex? Do you even know if I'm sexually active? So, um, I never caught you. It's probably a good thing. There was one time you came really, really close. And you? Had, yes. I walked him through the garage. I was like, okay, <laughs> motherfucker. And you had pulled it, and I was like, no. His shoes were by the front door. I grab his shoes, and he hides in my closet for literally 12 hours had all night. Be. Had to be. All night long. And he hopped down, got around, and never find out. Here we are today. Here we are today. <laughs> what is your favorite sexual position, and do you think mine is the same? Please take the goddamn shot. Why, is that, why does that gross you out? You're 21. Because I don't need to know about your sex stuff. <clears throat> Doggy. 
<laughs> what was the point of boring that, you fucking asshole? Uh, I don't think it's the same. I feel like you're a missionary guy or something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oof. With all the illicit drugs you've tried, <laughs> we're gonna actually what not do that. What for next? Try. Uh, list all the illicit drugs you've tried. Yeah, I've tried weed, alcohol, and mushrooms. Did you ever try anything harder like cocaine? No, I never I wanted to because of how it was born. Just kind of afraid to what kind of messes it would get me into. Um, what kind of drugs have you tried? I mean, I've done weed, I've done acid, cannabinol, lots of cocaine, <laughs> lots of cocaine, lots of pills. Playludes were right. like fun. <laughs> but you know, that was before I met your dad. Oh, kind of took you away from it. It was a good yeah. thing for me. Oh shit. Were there any reservations you had about parenting me? I guess the only hesitation is like the conflict between being a mom and a sister. Oh yeah. But I've always had to like do both. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, oh, I'm so lazy. I don't want to do mother things. So let me just be like the older sister. Um, what's your number one parenting regret? that I didn't have a male figure in my kids' lives. Yeah. I hate that, but in the same breath, I wouldn't, I still wouldn't change anything. What is your opinion of my love life or my current partner? Could I do better? Oh, he's very sweet and he loves you and he adores you. Do you wish I would have uh, went out in the world a little bit more and, you know, explored? I mean, you wanted to go to Hawaii and go to mm. college and all those things. And I think you put that stuff off because you wanted to be with Sam. I think he's cute, so. Ask me, like, would you sleep with him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably, yeah. He's about the right. She's a gilf, so in a different life, I think you'd definitely hit on Sam. <laughs> oh, I probably would have yeah. stopped it with him at least, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> Say one bad thing about my biological mother. There's a, a list. Bad thing? Yeah. <laughs> well, the one and only time she showed up to court, she pissed dirty. True. So she didn't really fight too hard to stay in your life. That she didn't. Nope. Whatever. Yeah. Do you think yeah. you'd be happier if you were raised by your biological mom? I already know that answer. No, I wouldn't be happier considering all the things she did while she was still in the picture. Yeah. Like all the hitting, all the yelling, all the screaming, I would probably be fucked up and I wouldn't want that. And I'm, I don't want that. Yeah. I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> Do I feel like a real mother to you? I, when I think of mom, I think of you. I know I have a birth mom and she's the one that gave me life, but you gave me growth, Yeah, I think is the biggest thing. I appreciate you <laughs> and everything you did for me growing up. You took a lot of sacrifices to make sure I was raised correctly and to make sure I had food on the plate. I love you for that. Yeah. You look like you're about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> cry baby. I'm gonna cry baby with you yeah. and dad. Thanks, Cut, for bringing out the tears. Do I feel like a real mother to you? Oh my goodness. How is that even a question? Yeah. yeah. Kim was never in my life. Like, it just yeah. wasn't a thing. So yeah, you're my mom. <laughs> I was so sad when you found out because we had a different plan for you finding out. So we were gonna tell her when we could really have that deep ass conversation where she would understand it. And then a little broad learned how to fucking read and reads her goddamn sister scrapbook. <laughs> and she comes upstairs and was like, mom, what does this mean? And this one reads this sentence to me. And I was like, son of a bitch, here we go. And she's like, since that's the case, she wanted to know about Santa Claus and the fucking Easter Bunny. Oh that was like so <laughs> much worse than finding out I was adopted. I was like, oh, I'm adopted? Cool, whatever. whatever. Santa's not real? <laughs> like, Santa's fucking real. <laughs>